we are going to be chatting about Behance right now. It was recently acquired by Adobe, and they're making a big push to add a lot of features to it and really get the word out about Behance. Um, and for good reason, they bought it. It's a really useful tool for anybody who is creative and looking to have an online resume or online portfolio. So we couldn't do a course about building an online resume or online presence without covering Behance because it's great for artists, uh, art teachers, students, and really anybody who has a lot of images or videos or just lots of multimedia that they want to show off. So what I'm doing here is just getting started with creating an account on Behance. You can see up here, Behance sign up. Um, all you have to do is Google Behance, um, kind of like Enhance, but with a B and an E. Um, not that that's really helpful. So anyway, it's just walking us through the quick setup. So I'm saying I'm an individual. We're going to select our country, United States, and Maine is not quite it. I'm in Massachusetts right now and Cambridge. And I'll just put in a random birthday because um, I don't feel like sharing my birthday out there. We'll say 86. Uh, and so now it wants to know our creative fields. So select the fields that best describe your work. And let's just say that I am interested in movies and have lots of video and stuff. I do cinematography, maybe computer animation if I really like Pixar, um, and drawing. And that'll be good. So you can always change it later, but it's basically just starting to populate your presence on Behance. Uh, so we'll hit done. We can choose a password and we'll say our profile name and we'll make it modern lessons and so that one is not yet taken so we'll hit continue and it'll just keep walking us through it uh, so kind of like twitter and those kind of social networks you can follow people um, and it'll suggest sort of the well-known people in the industry that you're interested in um, so if you ever have heard of these people then great but oftentimes it just goes by the number of appreciations or likes they have here and the number of views which is shown here with the eyeballs so this person is in russia and does illustration and magic so who doesn't like magic um and this one does fine arts which is also cool and i'm also interested in visual arts uh so there we followed a few people hit continue so it's very similar to twitter as you can see you can even sync it with twitter over here uh, i set it up using google and you can sync it with your Facebook account as well. Uh, so all we'll do is just continue to complete our profile and it'll walk you through all the basics, just like our LinkedIn walkthrough we did in the previous lesson. Uh, you can see the occupation and title right here, website, company business name, all that good stuff. So rather than type it all in, I'll just put a few things in. Um, and then you can link your profile to your presence across the web. Uh, and this is basically where you sync it, um, or at least where you show off your little social media badges. So we'll just add one, uh, just Twitter slash Modern Lessons. Uh, pretty straightforward. And Behance is a great place to find creative talent too, if that's your thing. Um, so if you're looking for a job or looking to hire someone and you have a job, then it's a great place to find someone who can design a logo for you, a website, do some posters, that kind of stuff. So let's say that I'm interested in doing some consulting, because why not? Um, but there's obviously other options to choose from. If you want to freelance or get a full-time job using Behance, that's great. Um, we'll say that um, you're self-employed and do whatever. And you can always just hit save, and I'll just keep walking through the profile setup. I'm not going to bore you with typing out a paragraph about myself. But this is all pretty straightforward and you can have some custom sections so you can have instead of about me you could change that actually to hobbies that i like doing or something else that's useful my favorite color if you want it really doesn't matter um, nothing offensive obviously but other than that it's your chance to be creative which is what behance is all about which is great um, here is where it starts showing you what your profile is going to look like and you can even change what how it appears using all the colors which I think is the coolest part of this. Um, so you can go over here and just change what the lines look like. So you can see right here that changed it to red. Uh, and we'll change box one to bright red so you can see how that changes it. Um, if you wanna make things green, a really nice bright ugly green, that's great. 
Um, and so once we start adding in projects, that's where you'll see here, project title. And keep an eye on here where these are called appreciations here. Um, and then this is the views, which is really fun and it's a little addicting actually. Uh, but it's just a great social network and it's really easy to use, which is the most important part. So now we have our super ugly bright green title and our red border here. Um, and that's basically it. So you can see here, if you ever start uploading projects, it'll show things that you've appreciated. Um, and here it'll walk you through how to upload a project. All pretty straightforward. Uh, you can drag and drop things, um, but basically upload my first project brings you to a file upload screen and a form. So you can start sort of setting it up however you want. Uh, so, and you can customize the design and then publish, ta-da! And so it's pretty straightforward. First thing we'll do is upload, upload some images or video. Uh, so here we'll do that, uploaded our logo, which is pretty snazzy. And then we'll just hit edit. We'll call it the Modern Lessons logo. Save. See, pretty straightforward. And then we'll just hit save right here and we'll hit continue. And this is basically where it wants you to upload a, like a sort of a thumbnail image that you want to use. So we'll just use the same one and it'll, you can select how you want it to be cropped. So we'll just hit crop and continue. Pretty cool. And now I'm not going to publish it yet, but you can type in all kinds of things about what it is to describe it. So as you can see, if we hit the green, green publish button, then we would have added this to our portfolio, but we don't need to do that right now. Uh, and you can always go to the big green add work button to do that again. So that's how you update your portfolio and your profile and add it, stuff to it. So you can embed media. It doesn't let you upload a lot of stuff directly, but you can embed your YouTube videos or your Vimeo videos, really anything, especially if it's hosted elsewhere, that's great. Uh, and now this is just Behance after you log in. It's kind of like a Facebook stream only with lots of images. Um, so it's sort of Facebook and Twitter with a Instagram mixed in there, um, if that makes any sense at all. So basically you can scroll around and there's just tons of very cool creative stuff happening online. And I would suggest coming back to this quite often. Um, it kind of has a Pinterest layout and let's say there's something that piques your interest. So these colors are very pretty. And let's say you want to use them as a template or something. So, um, or a color palette rally, not, rather, not a template. Uh, we really like this. So we can scroll down and see just how this person used all these really cool colors. And it's just great. Um, so as I said, they're called appreciations. If you give a thumbs up to something like on Facebook, it'd be called a like, but I appreciate this. I think those colors are really cool. So there, it says thank you after you're hitting it. Um, and you can follow the person and sure, why not? And we can save it to our own personal collections. Um, so you can create kind of a Pinterest style board, which is great. Um, so we'll hit save to collection. Brings you a little pop-up. We'll call that, I can spell today, cool colors. So we'll hit add. Uh, and now we can just hit save. All right, so now we have it saved in our collection which is great and we can continue to explore uh, this person's work and it looks like they have a lot of cool stuff and you can see that they have a ton of views on some things like 28,000 which is pretty solid uh, this one's 37,000 so this seems to be a branding agency um, and if you're interested in their stuff that's a great way to find them and then actually connect with them if you want them to do some work for you so you can see how it's a powerful place to find talent and to get yourself out there and to create an online percent, um, profile or resume, however you want to call it. Um, one of the newer things that Behance does is jobs, um, because as I mentioned, that's a big way that they get people into the site. Um, it talks about posting a job and finding workers and all that kind of stuff. So you can always post a job or find a job. So let's say we're interested in something with video games and it'll just automatically update for you. So. It looks like there's a couple, so we can do an interactive designer for a job in Virginia. And let's say that's perfect. We can just continue on down, hit apply to this job, and it, they have awesome benefits, so who wouldn't want to work there? I don't know this company, so I'm not endorsing them. Um, but that's about it. So those are the main reasons to use Behance, and it's by far one of the most well laid out and organized sites. And 
keep on, keep on the lookout for a lot of cool new things coming. I chatted with the Adobe folks actually earlier this week, use it for another site that I run, and they have some really cool stuff coming soon. So whenever you're watching this, I'm sure it's just getting better and better. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Yeah. <laughs>